In this video, we'll be looking for pivot table. One more example. Let's see that. I want to create this kind of data. I know pivot table, which I should show with respect to region. I want the count. I want the minimum, maximum and the average given here. So this is the data which I have on the screen. With respect to this data, I want to create this kind of table here. So how do I create a pivot table? Very simple. Just keep your cursor in the data. Go to the insert tab and click on pivot table. Since your cursor is in the table, by default, the data is selected as the source data. You see the dancing ants and existing worksheet. Where do you want to paste the data? I purposely want to paste the data here itself so that it is easy for me to see how the data has been built up and I'll click on OK. That's it. So now if you see, I want to create similar kind of table here. How do I do that? Very first thing, if you see the row labels have the region. So I'll bring the region in the row labels. I'll bring the region in the row labels. So it's done. Fine. If you understand, if you see in the previous video, how do you bring count of all the region is with this method. Whatever count you want to bring, you have to bring that in the row labels and same region you have to bring in this values. So I'll bring this region into this values and I'll get the count. So if you see it's somewhat similar, right? Similar in the sense it is same. So if you see east is 30, midwest is 24, which is working fine, right? Next you have that is maximum and minimum. Maximum and minimum is for the value which is sales column. So what I'll do is I'll bring the first of all is sales and I'll drag down here itself. Second column is sales. By default, when you drag it, you'll get sum of sales. You'll not get count minimum maximum. You have to change the functions. So if you see, this is sum of sales, but I want maximum of sales. How do you bring maximum is you have to click here in this place, sum of sales, go to value field settings. And if you see, I have to say as maximum of sales, this option, maximum of sales. That's it. This is the main fund about this. Uh, thing is how do you change it I'll just click on this maximum click on ok so if you see the numbers are given as 1674.82 this is somewhat similar I'll change the decimal later on similarly if you know for maximum you can bring for minimum also again I'll drag it for sales and I can bring it for here this place this is already a sum of sales I want to change the name now I want to make it for minimum I'll click on this minimum click on ok so minimum is also perfect 198 198 153 and all decimals if I change the answer will be more perfect third one is again for the average I'll just bring the sales and drag it down here and I'll change it to value field settings that is for average average is given click on ok so average I hope 8 2 3 it's it's somewhat similar just if I remove the decimals I'll bring one more which is sum of sales sum of sales can be brought just by dragging and dropping it here which is by default given now the first part is done, I've built the table. Now the second thing is designing part, changing the formatting and all, that's very simple now. How do I change it? First of all, what I'll do is, I will remove this grand total. I'll just keep my cursor here, go to design tab and I can go to this grand total. I do not want grand total right now, so I'll remove that. Grand total of for rows and columns, that is done. Second one, if you see the names I have to change, I want to bring it count, maximum, minimum and average. So how do I change the names? I'll just I'll just click here for count and go to value field settings and here I'll just remove and put here count right similarly I'll go for the second one value field settings I'll write here max third one I'll put as minimum yeah this is the long cut method by which you have to go the shortcut method is just double click on the column heading of the pivot table and you can just remove that and see as minimum and again I'll do is double click on this average and I'll put here average okay similarly I'll put double click here and I'll put as sum though sum of sales is not present here but it's easy to understand so we are somewhere correct right now third thing is row label they have given row label I've got it but I, I want to make it some sensible name let's say region how do I change it keep your cursor in the place and go to report layout tabular form so this is region somewhat better than what we are expecting Next is how do I change the format of the entire table is I can select this entire table and go to this value field settings number format and uh, I can say as number decimal as zero click on OK. OK. So I, I have to change each and every format one by one. So I'll go to number change the decimal to zero. Similarly, similarly, I have to select this one the minimum value value field settings change the number format number to zero decimals okay select this 
number format number and I have to change it to 0 number format change to 0 right so this way I have got the answer all the values which I have expecting the row labels column labels and the formatting maximum minimum average the names everything is done here so I hope you have understood how to get the minimum maximum and all the functions available with respect to the pivot table that's all for this video thank you